Mo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, one of my wife's friends had called her and asked her if she thought I might be interested in making her a French drying rack. I said, sure, I'd be glad to. Well, when my wife got off the phone, I said, what the heck is a French drying rack? I had no idea what I was possibly getting myself into. So I went to the internet and sure enough, there's all kinds of different shapes, sizes, and varieties of French drying racks. Well, luckily, She's chosen the most simplest of design, and that's the one that's gonna be hanging on the wall. Well, that's today's project, so let's get started. So I got started by cutting the outside rails and cross members, and I started the outside rails being an inch and a quarter, then quickly realized that uh, now nah, it was gonna to be too big and too heavy duty, so I changed everything to one inch. So the outside rails and cross members, this whole project is gonna be one inch by 3 uh, bar stock, and then this is some pencil rod that I had laying on my rack outside. And this is what we're going to use for the holders themselves. So I cut these things. I figured I needed about 32 of these. And uh, so once I got everything all cut, I uh, taken them over to the Yos. All right, so here's the skinny. Um, I've got this pencil rod right here that uh, I've got 32 of these pieces that I'm going to need to complete this rack. And as you can see, when I was cutting these things up, uh, they, they are rusted. Um, I've, I've got about 10 of these sticks out of my uh, rack outside my shop right here that's been sitting out there for six or eight months and you know they're only about seven or eight dollars a stick and I probably would have been better off to go down and buy a fresh stick uh, to, to cut all these pieces with but no um, I felt that I would be best to use up some of the material I have in the shop which is fine However, now I need to get this rust off of here because they are going to be, uh, you know, I am going to clean them and paint them and they are going to be hanging glasses or whatever they're going to hang on these things. And I need to get this rust off of here and I can't think of another way that's easier to get it off. I, I, I probably could put a wire wheel on my, on my bench grinder, but that, that right there is probably going to take me an hour to change the wheel over and I really don't even want to do that. So I've got a wire wheel here on uh, one of my angle grinders. And the only way that I think that I'm going to be able to do this is one piece at a time in the vise right here. And uh, that is going to take a long time. So, but I don't have a choice. So I'm going to go ahead and get it done. So let's get started. So this is about the only way that I could think of at the moment to do this. Uh, it actually worked out pretty good. It took a little bit longer than I was hoping, but you know what? I got nothing but time. And, uh, you know, I'd probably say I have an hour into uh, cleaning the rust off of, off of these pieces of metal. But, uh, hey, it all went pretty good. And uh, once I got it all done, I took it over to the belt sander and rounded off each end. I wanted uh, one side's going to be welded to the, uh, to the frame itself. And the other side's going to be smooth. There's going to be glasses hanging on it. So. And then I just uh, pre-drilled the mounting brackets in the bottom and top of the uh, rack itself. And now the assembly begins here. You can see I also rounded off each end of the side rails. Once I started uh, getting the frame together, I started tacking the cross members in place right here. And everything really went together fairly smooth. Uh, I was anticipating a lot of warpage and, and things like that, but uh, it really wasn't too bad. I had a little bit of warpage, but nothing that could get fixed uh, really easy by just bending it. This is some pretty thin material right here. So once I got everything nice and squared and after it was tacked, uh, the next job is to go ahead and just weld everything out, both front side and back side. You know, this is going to actually be the front of the rack. Uh, the cross members are flush to the front of the rails right here. And once I, uh, I got that done, it was time to take the flap disc and I just wanted to smooth off all those welds that were on the front side and round everything off. That is going to be the front. And you can see it's got a little warp in it. You might be able to see it right there. But that was fixed fairly easy. And then for these uh, uh, glass or cup holders, um, I just put a mark on the Yost. Just stuck them in there and bent every one of them. I got used to the same angle, and believe it or not, they were all really fairly close. I thought about getting a jig together and doing it absolutely perfect, but you know what? This, this worked out really good, and they were so close that... Uh, um, very, very few of them had to be adjusted. The uh, layout right here, um, I'm going to offset these every other one. I've got uh, four and then three, four and three, four and then three. And I'm just doing the layout right now on all those once I got everything all marked uh, where I want them to be. 
it was time to go ahead and start welding them in place. And you can see, went in there pretty smooth, everything right on the mark, and it looked pretty good. Like I said, there was a little bit of minor adjustment once I got them all tacked into place. I did have to tap a few of them around, but once I did that, I uh, just welded everything, everything out. And, you know, there was, for such a small little project, there was quite a bit of detail on this. It turned out pretty good. Anyways, there it is. The project is complete. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Jimbo's Garage. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.